1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Daman Zaman. The headlines. The Prime Minister is announcing a massive package for the construction industry today to maintain the economic activity affected due to the coronavirus outbreak. Imran Khan will visit the National Command and Operations Center in Islamabad today to review the steps being taken to prevent the spread of coronavirus pandemic. The President has advised the people to stay at home and offer Zohar instead of Friday prayers in order to prevent the spread of coronavirus. World Kashmir Awareness Forum has strongly condemned India's recent attempts to change the demographic status of occupied Kashmir. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan is announcing a massive package for the construction industry today to maintain the economic activity affected due to the coronavirus outbreak. Speaking at a ceremony in Islamabad, the Prime Minister said amid efforts of containing the coronavirus disease, the government would have to create a balance allowing the industries which are essential to provide employment to the poor people. He said the government would open up the construction industry as it does not involve any gathering. However, the government would specify the parameters of working, particularly at the site of mega projects, to ensure the observance of social distancing. The special assistant to the Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdos Ashik Awan, says the civil and military leadership of the country is determined to protect the people from coronavirus. In a tweet, she said Prime Minister Imran Khan will visit the National Command and Operations Center in Islamabad today to review the steps being taken to prevent the spread of the pandemic. The special assistant said the Army Chief General Kamar Javid Bajwa will also accompany the Prime Minister. She said everyone should make efforts like a nation to face the COVID-19 challenge. The President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has advised the people to stay at home and offer Zohar instead of Friday prayers in order to prevent the spread of coronavirus. In a tweet, he said doctors across the world are supporting social distancing to discourage the spread of the virus. He also prayed for the good health and long life of the people while maintaining social distancing. Meanwhile, the President, Dr. Arif Alvi, has appealed to the youth to come forward and donate blood to treat thalassemia patients in testing times of coronavirus outbreak. Speaking at a ceremony after visiting Thalassemia Center in Islamabad today, he said problems for children suffering from thalassemia have become manifold in the wake of the closure of public transport due to the coronavirus crisis. Dr. Arif Alvi said he has advised all the provincial governments and other relevant agencies to look for donors to facilitate thalassemia patients as they frequently need blood transfusion. The president urged the blood donors to visit the blood donation centers and donate blood to save thalassemia patients. 66 new coronavirus cases have been detected during the last 24 hours across the country, raising the total number of confirmed cases to 2,450. According to the latest official data, 35 people have died of the disease since its outbreak. 126 patients have recovered, while 10, while 10 patients are in critical condition. In the Punjab, the total number of coronavirus cases is 920, in Sindh, 783, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 311, Balochistan, 169, Islamabad, 68, Gilgit, Baltistan, 190, and in Azad, Kashmir, 9. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the Rashtriya Savayam Sevak Sangh inspired Bharatiya Janata Party leadership is pursuing discriminatory policies against Muslims in the 21st century. In a tweet, he said the Indian leadership is openly speaking about the 200 million Muslims of India, just as the Nazis spoke about Jews. 
The World Kashmir Awareness Forum has condemned the Indian government's recent attempts to change the demographic status of occupied Kashmir by introducing new set of laws that allowed the Indian citizens to permanently settle in the occupied valley. In a statement in Washington, the forum said under a bizarre and illegal Jammu and Kashmir reorganization order 2020, the citizens of India will now be able to settle in and compete for jobs in the territory. The forum urged the United Nations to remind India of the disputed nature of the occupied territory and implement the Security Council resolutions on the issue. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and you can also watch the live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com forward slash Radio Pakistan News Official.